About 200 demonstrators gathered in Brooklyn, carrying Palestinian flags, at first rallying peacefully, but as they moved into the streets, chanting loudly and some carrying torches, police moved in. NYPD came in from a side street and started grabbing people at random. They were tackled to the ground. As they were on the ground and being uh, placed under arrest, often by multiple officers, officers were beating them, punching them in their upper body, around their head. Observers say the beatings continued for an extended time and many protesters were arrested. It remains unclear why police intervened in this manner. Palestine is almost free. There were also protests in Washington. Several hundred people braved the rain in the nation's capital to support Palestinians and to mark the Nakba, their historic mass displacement due to Israel's founding. On this dreary day in the U.S. capital of Washington, people are braving the rain to come out and commemorate the anniversary of the Nakba. They are Palestinian Americans and their supporters coming to the nation's capital. They're chanting Free Palestine and they're accusing U.S. President Joe Biden of being complicit in genocide in his support of Israel's war on Gaza. We have been protesting, we have been hitting the streets, and we have been educating the people on the Palestinian plight. We see the, blonde, uh, the blank checks that keep going, that keep going to the Israeli military. Earlier in the week, the U.S. House of Representatives rebuked Biden for pausing a shipment of bombs to Israel. Demonstrators say the U.S. should stop giving military aid to Israel altogether. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.